Hey everybody, Dave here working on the shop again. So I wanted to go over a car with everybody that's uh, one of my favorites, if not my favorite car, and it's the 2005 and 2006 GTO. Um, this one right here is mine. Uh, this one has some custom stuff done to it. Uh, you know, you can see right off the bat that there's Brembo's and you can see that, uh, you know, a custom racing stripe, certain little things, little nuances, and I have some other stuff that I haven't gone over on the car yet, but, you know, that's for a future video, but right now, the, what I want to talk about is uh, the GTO gas pedal. So the problem with the GTO gas pedal is, for some reason over time, the gas pedal gets stiffer than the clutch. Um, the reason for that is the springs on the inside bind. In fact, I was watching a video of David Patterson, he's that dude in blue. He was reviewing, a, I believe it was a 2006 GTO, and he even commented about how hard it was to press the gas pedal. So I'm here to show you there's actually a fix for that. <clears throat> uh, you could do all the research in the world, and most guys just say change the pedal. Most guys just say it's normal, don't worry about it. Uh, you, you should see my 60s car, you should, you should feel my old Mustang, blah, 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 blah. All the comments are there, go to the gym, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to show you there actually is a fix, and I actually wish when I'm done the gas pedal felt that way from the factory. So what I'm going to do is uh, pause here, and I'm going to cut over to uh, me, me on the bench, and I'm going to take the gas pedal assembly apart to show you what you need to do to actually modify it and make it feel like a normal gas pedal that feels amazing. And again, it should have come this way from the factory. So sit tight, and I'm going to change over. Hey everybody, so I set you up on my workbench and so what I want to do is take the pedal apart to show you what modification you need to make to get these springs to stop binding. You can see from the factory that over time the springs bind and this actually gets pretty tight and pretty stiff to push. Springs right back, but it's really, really, really hard to compress. Um, what I want to do is I want to show you, you have to take off this uh, throttle position sensor. This is actually the throttle position sensor and this is the pedal assembly. You're going to need yourself a T9 Torx to get these screws out. Okay, so in here is your throttle position sensor, and this arm right here rides up and down the throttle position sensor and lets the pedal know uh, where the location is and it knows how much um, throttle to give the, or how much, uh, how far the throttle body should be opened in relation to it. So this arm right here needs to be pressed out. So if you just literally just take a tool and push on one side right here, you can just pop this right out. Now what's in here, under here is two springs. It very simply slips out. And once it slips out, uh, you might have to kind of finagle it a little. Okay, so once you get it out, you're going to find that there's two springs on the inside. What happens over... Sorry about that. I had to pause the video. There was a helicopter coming overhead. Uh, so where I left off, what I was trying to tell you is once you get these springs out, you're going to find that the springs, uh, they tend to over time bind, and for some reason, this one gets caught inside the other one, so when you're, when you're pressing the gas pedal, it gets very hard. So what I've done over the years, um, and again, I've owned GTOs. I've probably owned GTOs um, since my 20s, you know. Uh, so what I've done over the years is I've actually tested this, this larger spring um, is actually too weak of a spring. And believe it or not, the smaller spring is actually the stronger spring. So when you put the... The larger spring in, yes, it'll it'll work. The problem is, is the, the pedal effort becomes so light that uh, you could blow on your throttle pedal and you'll almost pretty much spin the tires out. You don't want that. But if you put this one in, you put this right back in its place, um, this brown uh, pad is going to ride on this metal bar here, and you put this right back in its place. It actually feels like a pretty, pretty nice pedal. Uh, it feels like the way the thing should have come from the factory, or maybe even the way it used to when it came from the factory. You're just going to pop that back in place. You're going to pop the actuator arm back in place. Uh, make sure back here lines up. You don't want to have to force it. If you just kind of line it up in place and push, it'll drop back in place. Push down on it, and then just make sure these little uh, contactors are in the right spot, or when I say the right spot, not bent. And now when you put this on, you're going to notice that there's some wear marks or witness marks where the old screws used to be. I like to throw at least one in um, to keep it placed. That way it doesn't move.
Okay, and there you go. So I took the spring out, and you're going to see that the pedal is much, much, much easier to uh, compress. This is probably one of the best mods you can do to these cars. Um, yeah, I know there's tons of other things you can do, but this is one of the best. Uh, it, it literally transformed the driving experience of the car. So I stopped the video where I was, and I wanted to take the time to thank everybody who clicked on the video and thank everybody who's been contacting me directly. Um, I really do appreciate the feedback. Uh, please like and subscribe, and if you guys need any more help with these GTOs, like I said, I've had them for a long time. Um, I've come across a lot of things that need to be fixed and a lot of people's misinformation on the forums, and I, I just like to help everybody. So you good luck with the mods. Um, if you guys need anything, feel free to message me, and uh, have a nice day. Thank you very much.